Hello everybody, I am SV and welcome to my new tutorial. So in today's video we will try to make same animation. Today I will show you how to use simulation tags including rigid body and collider body. I will show you how to use dynamic connectors. I will show you how to make easy setup of this animation and how to make a cinematic render setup. So today we will use a redshift render, we will use dome light and set up all this scene with moving camera. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we create primitive object, torus. Settings for torus will be 20 centimeters, one, uh, oh sorry, segments will be 64, radius pipe will be one, and orientation, orientation I will use like this, or maybe Z. So going to front view, take this torus, hold control on your keyboard, drag and drop down. Torus will be 25 centimeter. Take this, drag, drop down, 30, 35, 40, I don't know, we will do, like in my tutorial, like in my video, we will do uh, up to 70 up to 70 torus. If you like, you can make more up to 1000 without any problem. Okay, it's done. Going to primitive and create sphere. Segments will be 64 and radius will be 15. Why 15? I like to keep a same distance between torus. Last torus, radius torus was 20 and this will be 15. So make our sphere like editable object, go to perspective view, go to scale to and make like this maybe a little bit more okay like like a coin maybe create primitive cube go down make maybe i don't know maybe 10 centimeters maybe 110 oh sorry 11 110 and only 50 centimeters so we call it platform it will be like platform and the sphere will be like at center center take platform drop down for about same same uh, distance yeah approximately approximately same distance okay very good what we will do now now we are going to simulate dynamics and connector coming like this connector change orientation up to 90 degrees go to connector display and make only five only five centimeter drop down go to front view and change display mode up to quick shading so what is this this connector have a connection between two objects. This yellow, sorry, this yellow one is like a main object. Blue one is like a secondary object. So for our uh, for our composition, this uh, platform will be like a main object, and torus number ten will be connected object. We are going to connector, going to object, and object A like a main. We drag and drop platform. For object B, we drag and drop torus number 10. So, if you see like this, it's showing it is connected. Very good. I make small change for our platforms. I use fillet, maybe maybe two centimeters, maybe one, 
yeah, one centimeter will be good. Okay, what we will do now? Take connector, hold counter on your keyboard, drag and drop down. Pick up. Change rotation up to 90. Pick up more to be sure that Y orientation is zero and put somewhere here. Okay, so uh, platform connected to our last ring. This last ring we have to connect to previous ring to ring number nine. So how to do it? Going to connector, going to object and object A will be torus 10, object 9 will be torus, oh sorry, object B will be torus 9. Again, object A platform, object B torus 10. Connector number 2, torus 10 to torus B. So now we are take connectors like a zero connector, hold counter, drag and drop down, and pick up a little bit more steps. Now we may connect Torus 10 to Torus 8. Going to settings, sorry, uh, 9, so Torus 9 to Torus 8, yeah. Take Torus 9, take Torus 8. Take this connector, number 1, drag and drop, mistake, drag and drop down, will be connector number 3. Here we no need, we need somewhere here. It will be 8 to 7. Going to object and drag 8, drag 7. And like this make to all our all our tours. Here no need, somewhere here. It will be 7 to 6. Connector drag drop 1 2 will be 6 to 5 5 to 4 4 to 3 3 torus number 2 1 2 torus number 2 to torus number 1 okay remaining just few connectors torus number 1 to torus number 0 and last one connector 11 have connection between torus number zero and our center. So now we continue our modeling. Go to and create cylinder. Go to primitive and create cylinder. Make it very very small, maybe radius 0 0.5 and only only five centimeters going down and it's not necessary it's up to you but i like to make it so everywhere where is we have connectors we will put the small small cylinders like visual connection yeah because these connectors make a connection only for like a for rigid body for a dynamic object and this will be Sorry. Yeah, mistake. To be sure that Y will be zero to make a good Okay, very nice, and last one. 
So, very good. All my connectors I drag and drop somewhere up. And what we will do now? Now we have to make connect these cylinders like a child of our main object. For this cylinder, main object will be this platform. So I take this cylinder, cylinder zero, and drag and drop inside to platform. For this cylinder, main object will be torus number nine. Take, drag down. This cylinder, torus number seven. This cylinder, torus number five. And all cylinders put inside in his like a parent parent object. This cylinder will be child of this torus, torus number one. Take, drop down. This cylinder, a child of this torus. This is torus number ten. So take this cylinder, put down. Good. This cylinder, torus eight. This cylinder, torus six. This cylinder, torus four, torus two. This cylinder, child of torus zero. Very good. And now we are proceed to our setup, animation setup. So, take our platform, go to tags, simulation tag, and make a collider body. Not necessary to change any settings, it will be good for us. Take our other objects from center and all torus, select all of them, hold shift on your keyboard, go to tags, uh, simulation tag and rigid body. We have to change some settings. We are going to collision and shape, Yeah, not automatic. We are going to moving mesh, moving mesh. And what we have now? Okay, for, for good animation, we have to make one more settings. We'll go to edit, go to project settings, go to, first of all, we change our 25 FPC, go to dynamic, go to expert, and steps per frame. This is like a calculation, yes, we are change in twice. So, was five, now we have 10. What we will do now, increase our frames. For my video, I use 1200 frames. And in my computer, all this video calculated approximately, approximately 40 minutes. Approximately 40 minutes, I use uh, renders, render redshift. So, uh, let's to check how it's work. Push play and nothing happened. We create some small, maybe small cylinder, change, er, change rotation, Z, radius, just little bit, go somewhere here, okay, and make some animation. Coordinates, here will be first frame we are going to frame number 10 we will make like this and frame number 15 we take out it okay what we have boom very nice now we are going to my cylinders and create a simulation tag collider body um, not necessary to make any change so check what we have bam and in start slowly slowly turning and all our dynamics object all our connectors start to work you see yeah all our animation coming automatically looks like very nice but very very low if you will wait, if you have time, slowly all these cylinders will start moving according to our connector objects, yes? But our tutorial will be short, so I delete my cylinder and what I'll do? On my center object, 
I delete. Так. Dynamic так. And create collider body так. So again it will be moving mesh. And what I will do, I add Cinema 4D Vibrate tag. For this tag, what settings I use? Enable only rotation. I will use 360 degrees, 360 degrees, and 360 degrees. And speed 0.2, just little bit. So this Vibrate tag will give automatical rotation all time uh, for our center. How it will be? I just push play and you see is turning and all our other objects start turning very nice very nice looks like looks like good so stop go back my center object I make zero 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 what I do now going to redshift material okay maybe I will create one more cube I will go into object settings 20 centimeters no 10 centimeters it will be it will be table 600 okay maybe 800 400 yeah good maybe 500 okay very nice fillet I will do two centimeters not necessary to make more pick up here and proceed to our material first of all we are going to edit render settings and change standard to redshift frames 25 so create redshift redshift material first we will do material to our metal how to do it in redshift going to edit graph redshift and take out color we no need color wait to the zero reflection fresnel type color 18 make a white white and if you like make like a mirror like in my video yes as you can see it's like mirror uh, roundness should be zero like this take this material drag and drop to all our object which is metal then hold contour copy paste copy paste and like this to all our metal object if you like you can make a color it like plastic it's absolutely up to you I like it like a chrome so now we are create one more redshift material we will do a uh, wood going to texture texture general settings pause and for my for my platform i use this texture i like it but how I will do a setup for this texture? Take this texture, drag drop to blue color and make a diffuse. Then we are going to color correction. Take it and utilities bump map. Take it. So uh, this is my texture I like to make a gray scale. I put here from here how to do it yes you can check if saturation you will make to zero it will be like a gray color very nice so from here I drag and drop to texture map uh, bump map sorry and from bump I drag and drop to material overall bump input okay change bump I don't know maybe just little bit maybe 0 0.5 scale will be enough take this texture and drop to our platform go to redshift IPR play and now you can see how it looks like 
sorry a little bit increase one more time okay very nice very nice i like it what i will do now take this texture hold contour and copy what i change i change only pass for my uh, texture going here and make a american cherry very beautiful name yeah okay very good and bump will be one take this texture and put to my table again rest shift I ipr and check okay very very nice but i don't like too much uh, too much reflection so going to texture edit shapes sorry too much edit shapes material and roadness roadness i will use maybe 0 0.5 you see just little bit coming same i will do to my texture for platform here will be 0 2 it will be more more bright okay how i will do light light setup for my scene redshift light you can take from your uh, toolbar or you can go to plugins redshift redshift light and i'll use dome light dome light this is like a fake uh, fake global illumination on the settings of dome light i go to pass and download here w uh, hdr map hdr map uh, to be sure that you have really HDR pictures, not any BMP or I don't know or JPEG HDR. Only in this reason, your dome light will will work perfectly. So very good. Going approximately like here. Going to settings, redshift, and enable force. Now go to Redshift IPR and what we have now. Coming processing of texturing because this is a HDR map, it's very very big size, more than 200 megabytes. Okay, very good. Almost texturing almost finish. We have to wait. Uh, come on uh, okay very good so and now you will have a choice how to will be your background to enable this texture you can put here enable background you hold you take uh, doom light go to rotation tool and start rotate and you see something change what I like I like to receive a good front illumination and okay very nice you see a very interesting texture yeah okay yeah like in my video like in my video yes I like this area because here is bright here is dark i have contrast and looks like very nice maybe a little bit bright okay and uh, on the middle i have some illumination of windows which is like a front so close and going to setup of my camera going to camera and create motion camera oh sorry one more time create motion camera in motion camera we absolutely no need pass spline going to top view take camera and put somewhere here then change angle look through the camera and what we have put down and maybe a little bit forward okay good go to render settings output i will use like this 1280 up to 567 this is will be like 
widescreen. Go to options, configurate, go to view and increase opacity just to see our angle. Now we need little bit pick up our sorry not pick up put down our camera and if you play if you start play camera start moving start moving very good maybe we a little bit little bit pick up our camera maybe like this okay very nice for camera i will add a redshift tag redshift camera bokeh enable no any change i don't need any more change uh, so what i have in my scene i have too much uh, really too much um, reflection yes because i use a metal really too much reflection so in my settings of redshift i will go to sampling overrides and enable reflection i will use one to eight one to eight will be good then I'm going to motion blur and make enable of motion blur. So additionally, all uh, I will do it later. So I will play camera moving, stop and check how it will be. As you can see, it's very fast, approximately four seconds, but how to increase it? I mean decrease uh, decrease time yes go to redshift settings system bucket render and increase up to two five six don't forget this is first frame more longer this is last frame because in future they no need to prepare okay uh, they no need to prepare our uh, how it's calling our all-time texturing and when I render this picture it take mm, I don't know every every one every two seconds every frames so it is done going to last settings output all frame save choice a folder i use table galaxy table galaxy yes push save and just push render that's all when render will finish you're going to our adobe after effect double click download our all frames drag and drop to new composition create new adjustment layer going to effects add some i don't know maybe some magic bullet looks you can use warm maybe like this okay optimus optimus maybe optimus prime from transformer we'll see so then you go to new layer solid layer okay opacity here will be first game frame few frames more will be zero game frame somewhere here will be game frame and 100 so what we have we have like this video okay so if you like my tutorial please subscribe please check all my other tutorials share to your friends this is, will be very good for me i like too much subscribers and thank you for watching uh, see you next time goodbye